Hello everyone and new Malaysia students, nice to meet you. I'm Yuri Shirataki, undergraduate student. Today I'd like to talk to you about my experiment result and future plan. Outline first, I'd explain MS easily again and background of this experiment. Material device method result discussion and future plan. First, what's MAS? MAS means microsplene like amino acids. MAS have each UV absorbance maxima from 300 to 360 nanometers and uh, it's reported that uh, some fish have MAS in lens. Uh, so MAS protects fish eyes from uh, uh, dangerous UV effects. And my research team is to measure fish freshness from uh, MAS decomposition in eyes. My first purpose is to see MAS spectrum. This and uh, next background of this experiment. <coughs> uh, we couldn't see MS peaks at some experiments we conducted. Um, uh, bef uh, before this uh, experiment, we measured the crude material. Uh, and uh, other researchers used the methanol uh, to extract the MAS. So uh, at this experiment, I <coughs> used it. Methanol, methanol to extract MAS. And uh, this fish is reported to have MAS, so I used this fish, this experiment. And uh, I have two purposes of this experiment. Uh, one, uh, one of them is to check and practice the exp extract process uh, using methanol and uh, the other of them is to confirm if we can see MAS peaks from this fish lens. Uh, these are uh, material and device. Uh, this fish is uh, this uh, in garage, our garage, and uh, spectroscopy, centrifuge, and uh, quartz cell refrigerator and the freezer. Method, dissect uh, five day species to lens. Storage the lens at uh, minus 75 degrees for two days. So them at room temperature about 21 degrees. Uh, leave lens in methanol overnight. And uh, centrifuge at uh, 6,000 RPM for 15 minutes, pick up a super mutant by pipet, and major spectrum of them. Reference is uh, met only methanol. And this is uh, my re result. Uh, MAS have uh, absorbance peaks uh, at the range from 300 to 360, so zoom <coughs> up this range, uh, like this. Uh, look uh, at these two parts. <laughs> this, this part has a very, very loose arch, and uh, this part uh, fall down. Uh, Using Savitsky Gore, uh, I differentiated uh, this graph secondary. Uh, for your information, Savitsky Gore is uh, one of the statistics ways for uh, both differentiating and smoothing data. Uh, Second, the derivative uh, makes us see the original peaks as a minimum value. For example, this maximum value and the maximum value. 
This is original data. This peak means this <coughs> very, very loose uh, arch, and uh, this peak and this peak is uh, this part. So, uh, then discussion. First, what's the peak of uh, 339 nanometers? This. And the uh, second question is uh, can we identify 331 nanometers as a peak? This. Uh, first, uh, what's the peak of 330 nanometers? Uh, this is uh, maybe. Uh, the device error caused by light source change. Uh, I set uh, the light source change at 340, and uh, this uh, part is uh, also 340, so maybe the device error. Uh, this error uh, exists when there are some things at the uh, sample and uh, reference folders. And uh, this error is very often about uh, 0 0.001. So we should increase the peak of the sample so much that we can ignore this device error. Then, so we should uh, change the concentration or optical path length in order to increase uh, the peak of uh, the sample. Next, can we identify 330 as a peak? Uh, this, uh, this part is very similar to baseline. Uh, this is uh, baseline, very similar. Arch. So we should change the concentration or optical path length in order to uh, increase uh, the peaks of uh, the sample and confirm whether this part contains MS peaks. Uh, my future plan, uh, first improve fa and find how to extract MS better. For example, free, uh, this, this experiment, uh, I, I used uh, free, only freeze but uh, I try, I, I'll try to freeze drying and uh, methanol amount change sample state or concentration and so on. And second, my future plan is uh, continue to research how to get pure MS. Uh, we, uh, we don't uh, know uh, how how the pure MS the peak is so we should the pure MS and we cannot identify MS without HPLC. Uh, if we use the HPLC, we need pure MS, so this is a very important task. But the uh, pure MS is now very difficult to get, so very hard task, maybe. Uh, my third plan uh, spare more time to research the visible change of eye than now. Uh, and, first, and first, photograph a moving image. Thank you for your listening. So I want to uh, many suggest. <laughs> Please ask many questions. <laughs> In your sample of the uh, knife, mm. you first said that uh, MIA was decomposing and you're going to use that for freshness. <laughs> you have, do you know that your sampling procedure stops that decomposition? Mm. Mm. You are freezing it. Yes. Is there any decomposition occurring with your sample preparation? Mm. 
Many bacteria maybe die after about two degrees. So by now, uh, this time I put the sample at minus 75 degrees. So maybe bacteria die. Okay. So decomposition of the MAA by bacteria has been stopped. Yes. Does decomposition by physical uh, processes, freezing, does that occur with the MAA? Is MAA stable at very low temperatures? Mm -hmm. Is MAA stable mm -hmm. at low temperatures or no. does it decompose no. during the freezing process? Uh, many Previous researchers uh, put uh, uh, minus 75 degrees, and uh, af after the process, uh, they use HPLC, and uh, they find MHB, uh, MAS, so maybe... Okay. <laughs> Always minus 75. That way is already established. Ah, no. Some some researchers put them them at minus 75 degrees. Some others freeze line. Next, uh, I try freeze drying. Oh. You change the uh, fish, fish type. Ah, yes. Yes, we it was uh, bluegill. Yes. Why, why you change? Uh, this fish, uh, bluegill is not uh, reported to have MS, but uh, this fish is uh, reported to have MS. So, um, I, I check. Did you actually measure that you were able to make, uh, extract the MAA? Did you measure the concentration of the MAA oh. in the solution? And this time, um, five lens, um, uh, five milliliter uh, methanol. So you ex extracted and then you measured the absorbance. You assume that you have extracted MAA, but do you know that you have actually got some MAA in your solution to measure the absorption? Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> you, you may be trying to measure zero MAA by absorbance. If you do not know that MAA is in your solution.
in the previous day, we <coughs> saw the spectrum. So we know that this is the peak of the mm, Many people tell us the, the max, maximum of our But no, no one reported about the, the, the shape of the, on the spectrum of the and uh, some people show the spectrum, but uh, over uh, observers is over one. What do you observers? Uh, I I listen to uh, if observers is over one. And uh, it is not um, to, um, to <laughs> um, it is uh, um, much possible to be bad to be that. Absorbance is very big, bigger. Maybe how to extract or measure is bad. I, I have from you some of them, some of the MAs uh, already know that the uh, absorbance uh, but uh, some of them are not the deposit yet. Some MS or only? Some MS, <laughs> we don't know. We can't determine that uh, range. Uh, but uh, all MS, uh, the peak uh, exists from ah. 300. Ah, all MS is uh, between 300 and 360. Yes. Ah, that is uh, already known.
、えー、I don't know the detail of、えっ、ー、と、how,、uh, how to choose the point number better, so, setting set, value I choose. Ah, okay. So, if that range is 60, so half, half the meter is a meter in normal. So, maybe 30 meters, around 30 meters is good. Okay.